Hey guys, I just want to give you a quick overview of CoSchedule, which is a tool I use to sort of help keep track of everything I've got going on with my websites, because I do have multiple. But ironically, it's actually one of the first blogging tools I invested in way back in like 2015, and then I stopped using it, um, and I've since come back because I haven't found anything better, and also it just, it's gotten better since when I last, it does a lot more stuff now. So just to give you a quick overview, CoSchedule helps you kind of keep track of your blog, social media, and depending on what email marketing service you use, your email promotions as well, all in one place, which just makes life really easy. Um, and I'm just a big fan of CoSchedule in general um, because of their free tools that they offer as well. So I, I, I love CoSchedule. This is what you see when you get to their website. Um, I love the free tools. The Headline Analyzer is probably the most well-known. These other two are newer. But the social message optimizer lets you test social messages for each different platform because the kind of message you want to do for Pinterest is going to be different than Facebook um, and email subject line tester as well. And I've used all of these and I use them all the time and I love it. Um, so in terms of plan, so I am on a, um, they're like their basic plan. It's the, it's not, it's the essential. It's, it's, um, or the essential plus referral program. I guess. No, it's the essential. Um, so it's billed annually or $49 a month. Um, I, I'm currently month to month because I really wanted to kind of get my feet wet with this and make sure it was something I wanted to stick with again. And I do. And so it's one user, which is just me, but that's okay. Cause I'm, I'm a team of one right now, but eight social profiles. Um, so, and they have a lot of different, it, they connect to a lot of different social profiles. One, one of my favorite is Pinterest because I was previously, <laughs> excuse me, using Board Booster and they shut down. And I, I had been with Tailwind as well, but they charge for each Pinterest account. And so it, like you couldn't do more than one um, without having to pay for a whole nother account. So I like that you can actually manage a couple different Pinterest profiles within this eight social profiles limit. So it's blog plus social scheduling, email marketing integration, and social analytics. So it's a lot. Um, and it kind of breaks it down. And it says, you know, it's 50 bucks a month, but there are ways to cut that down by referring or doing a review similar to what I'm doing. Um, and if you need more than eight social profiles, which for one website should be plenty, but if like me, you're managing multiple, it's a like small extra cost to get like five more social profiles. I think it's like another $10 a month or something. Um, which isn't bad at all. And it includes Riku, which if you use something like Meet Edgar, like you could stop using that because you get the same sort of functionality of, of sort of that evergreen content being redistributed into your social media through CoSchedule's Riku. Um, but it's better because it does more than just like Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn because um, you can do Pinterest and other stuff too. Um, and it will publish it as a new pin, which is required by Pinterest. So... That's kind of the plan I'm on. So let me just show you behind the scenes real quick. And then throughout the review, I'll do additional videos digging into certain aspects. So when I log in, I'm taken to my dashboard. Now, because I'm a team of one, I don't worry so much about doing a bunch of tasks. If I were working with a team, and, and hopefully down the road I will be, you know, where different people are assigned different tasks to move projects along, I think it would be even more helpful. So I don't worry about it as much. It's, it says here's something that's assigned to me that's upcoming, which is the post schedule review. It's in a draft mode right now. So I just have one calendar, but I'm able to manage three sites in that one calendar. So when I go to ES, my ES calendar, I have a general overview view that I like because it just, it, it's not overwhelming. It just at a glance tells me what I've got going on. Wait for it to load. Okay, so I can see that, you know, um, in Less Set More Wine, which is my personal finance site, I've got uh, a bunch of social media campaigns running that are very specialized for a virtual summit I'm putting together. So I put to, I, and I could have done these all in a single social media campaign. It's just my preference. I decided to break them out because I, I wanted to kind of do one thing at a time. Um, and then I've got a post on Elizabeth Stapleton, the site you're on now. Um, or if you're watching this on YouTube, the site that this review is posted on, um, about how to move from Squarespace to WordPress coming out on the 16th. And then recently on Accurate Freedom, which is a podcast website I have with my friend Melissa from Summer Saver, 
Um, we've recently re released a teaser about season two that's airing in October. And then Less It More Wine, I recently posted 130 plus ways to make extra money. So it's a great overview and you can adjust what you want to see on this calendar. So I've customized this view because I like looking at it. I can also, I also have customized view of all of my social media from, you know, for Elizabeth Stapleton social media accounts. And one of the best things about <laughs> CoSchedule that I love is that you not only view what CoSchedule is posted or is going to post, but you can view what other tools you use have posted. So I use Socialbee because I got a, um, a sweet deal on AppSumo for lifetime access, which is why I didn't move everything over to CoSchedule because you know, it's, it's fine on social media. It's not costing me money to have that keep running. Um, but I can see different sort of social media. So this is all requeue, but if I want to go in oops, and see all, it'll show me all the social media, all the posts, everything I've got going on, um, whether it's requeue or not, I believe. But because there's been a lot of stuff posted, it takes a second. So to see all the social media from eight different social media accounts across three different websites is really overwhelming, which is why I don't usually do this view. Um, I do have a less or more wine social media. I have an ES social media. And so I like to break it out. And then generally, I'm primarily using my overview view um, because this is just a lot to look at. So I like my overview because at a glance I can see what I've got going on with all of my sites. And if you click into any of them, it'll then open it up and show you kind of what you've got going on there. So if I open up this post that I published last week, it's showing me I've sent 10 social media messages and I don't have any more scheduled just yet, but I have requeue set up on most of these messages. And so they've gone into my, my queue and they'll be redistributed and reposted elsewhere. Um, and you just go back to the calendar. And so same thing with all these other ones. And then when you want to add something, you just click the plus button. You know, it's asking you, what do you want to add? Um, a social campaign, WordPress, email marketing. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't connect with ConvertKit, which is what I use, but it does connect with ActiveCampaign and MailChimp, which are two other, another two very popular email marketing services. So I don't actually do my email marketing in here, but I suppose I could, if I really wanted to, kind of type it out so that it displays so I can see it all at once. Um, so I just do test and then hit create email marketing. I could then do my subject line. So if I did um, 10 reasons you should move to WordPress, which isn't something I'd really send out, but it gives me a score, which is nice. Um, so it tells you if it's a good subject line or not. Um, and so it's a little bit long. There aren't any words in here that, you know, would decrease opens. Um, there's numbers of titles, but still not great score. So I would maybe want to check out the full analysis to break it out more. But then I can always, you know, do a text editor and I could actually write out my campaign here. That way I just copy and paste it in ConvertKit if I wanted to. I'm going to go ahead and close this. I'll delete it later. But you can see it's got the little icons. So the email, the little envelope is for email, the WordPress symbols for a WordPress post. And these are social media campaigns, which is why they have the bullhorn. So you can at a glance see everything that's going on. So it's just, it's a great way. You could do calendar or you can do list view if list view is more your style. Um, everyone's a little bit different in their preferences. So it does give you that flexibility, which is really nice. All right, so that's just my quick kind of 10 foot drop view. And I'll dig into more detail with the various features of CoSchedule in the rest of my review. So check it out on the post or just watch the next video if you're watching this on YouTube.